Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be all drugstore slash affordable makeup products. I say slash affordable because a couple of the things aren't necessarily at the drugstore, but they're drugstore prices. So um, yeah, I don't have a particular look in mind, but I am going to be using all affordable products. Um, I have a lot of drugstore products that I really like. Um, I don't really have a preference over drugstore versus high-end. I've tried a lot of both. Some things I prefer drugstore, some I prefer high-end. So today is going to be just drugstore, and I like all these products, so I'm not going to be using something that... I don't like. So yeah, if you want to see the products I'm using and the look that I come up with, then please keep watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by priming the skin, and this is the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. I almost need a new one. It's almost gone. I'm like struggling to get it out. So this is like just your typical pore filling smoothing primer, and I used to just press this more so in the center of my face, and then whatever's left of my fingers, I'll just kind of spread around but I mostly press it like right here like in the t-zone area mostly on my cheeks where I have larger pores then for foundation I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte I have been using this for a long time I think L'Oreal and Maybelline have my favorite foundations at the drugstore um, I like the original L'Oreal True Match I like the Infallible Pro Matte and the Pro Glow and the Lumi that's in the pump um, that's pretty much all I can think of right now. And then I also like the Maybelline Fit Me, the Dewy and Smooth, and the Matte and Poreless. So any of those would be good for a drugstore foundation. And as you can see, I'm like almost out of this too. Luckily I have a couple backups because I really like it. So I'm going to try to get out enough for my face here. And this stuff gives you pretty good coverage. I have not the greatest skin as I've said many times before and it does a pretty good job of covering it up it's not like too heavy and thick but it's not like a sheer coverage and it doesn't it doesn't make me feel like really like uncomfortably matte um, I don't really have like particularly dry skin but it's just like a nice comfortable matte finish Okay, so moving on to concealer, this is the Maybelline Age Rewind. I really like this one. It's super convenient with the little sponge thing. I use this on a lot of days where I'm just trying to be like super quick or super lazy because I don't have to worry about like squeezing it out onto a brush or anything. Um, I also like the um, Maybelline Master Conceal and also the Fit Me. Those are all really good. Um, they all just so happen to be from Maybelline, but... Um, those are all the ones that I really like from the drugstore so far. Then to set my concealer, this is the Airspun powder. Um, this I got at Walmart. Um, the one thing I will say about it is it is very heavily, heavily, heavily perfumed. Um, I th I've said this in a video before, but it's very much like grandma's perfume kind of thing. Um, it doesn't really stick with you throughout the day. Um, it's very strong at first, but then it just kind of fades out, so you don't just smell it under your nose all day. Um, but then I also really like the RCMA No Color Powder. That one. Is one of those that's just more of a, an affordable powder than um, a drugstore one. Uh, you can get it, I don't know where I got mine at, but I got it online and it's like $12. Um, that one's just a translucent powder as well. Um, I will say the packaging that it comes in really sucks, so I suggest repackaging it into another like, empty container if you have one. But that one doesn't have any scent to it like this one does. But like I said, this one's just super convenient. You can get it at Walmart and I think it's like 5 or 6 bucks. Okay, so before I go on with any more stuff, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows off of camera just because it gets kind of boring and also because the brow products I'm using are not drugstore. Um, I've used a few or tried a few from the drugstore and I just haven't really 
liked them. Um, I know a lot of people like the NYX micro brow pencil. I didn't really care for it. I've also tried a ColourPop one, and it's not that I didn't like the pencil. I just got it in way too dark of a color. So I usually stick with the Anastasia or the Benefit pencils and dip brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those off of camera, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so brows are done, and while we're here, I'm just gonna point out this bun. There's a good chance it's just going to get crazier as time goes on because it has like a mind of its own. It'll start looking okay and then it's like a little floppy and then I'll like adjust it and mess with it and before I know it. It's like out to here and everywhere. So if it goes on and gets crazier and crazier, it is what it is. I know it's there. I got a lot of hair and that's just what I tend to do with it. So moving on. I'm going to use for bronzer the NYC Sunny Bronzer. I know that this one is pretty popular. Um, as far as drugstore bronzers, also the um, Physicians Formula, that one is a little more expensive. Physicians Formula is just a more expensive drugstore brand as it is. Um, this one's a little bit more warm toned than that one, but this one I think is only like a few bucks and that one's a few more. So I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up my face with this. Okay, so then for blush, this is the Milani Powder Blush in the shade Romantic Rose. And if I can get it open, it just looks like this. It's just like an everyday mauve kind of color. Um, I got mine at um, a store called Meyer. I don't know if they have those stores wherever you're at watching this. But um, they carry it at other stores now. I think they, might, I think they have it at Walmart now, too. They didn't whenever I got it. But um, I probably have it at a lot of drugstores. So I'm just going to use this as my blush today. I'm not a big blush wearer, as I've said before. I usually go for bronzer or like a neutral colored, just mauve flush of color kind of blush. So that's why I like this one. Just kind of tap over it with my powder brush so it's not too bright. I know it can come off a little bit different on camera. So then for highlight, I'm using the same palette as I'm using for my eyeshadow. This is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. And this is another one of those like slash affordable things because BH Cosmetics is a very affordable brand, but they were selling this at Ulta on the drugstore side. So um, either way, it's drugstore slash affordable. It was like $12.50 when I got it and then it went up to like $14.50. So either way, it's still affordable and it has eyeshadows and highlights, so I'm going to use probably these two middle highlights right here. And as you can see, they are pretty darn bright and pigmented for such an affordable product. I've had this palette for a really long time and I really like it. Um, I don't know if I've said it before, but... My mom is not a big makeup wearer and I had taken this to her house one time and it's just kind of all of the simple everyday colors that a lot of people including her would like to wear and like I said it's super affordable so she quickly ordered one of her own. Um, I don't know if they're still available or not but um, if they are I would definitely recommend trying to get your hands on one. Okay, so as I said, I'm going to use this for my eyeshadow also, and I don't know if these names have, or these colors have names. I might just have to show you what I'm using. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush and this middle top shade right here, just a light brown transition color. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can actually see. Okay, so as I said, I'm taking that light brown color on a fluffy brush. I'm just going to blend that into the crease. And apparently I had some other color on this brush too, no surprise, because I'm just like way too lazy to clean my brushes. And the other thing I like about this palette is like browns tend to be like, you know, people's everyday comfort kind of colors. Um, but I also really like the mauves because it's like a little bit of color different than brown, but it's not like too much. Like most everyone would be comfortable wearing those kinds of colors. 
and this palette has those has a lighter and a darker of those kind of shades so you can go for like a very light shimmery kind of look or you can kind of deepen it up a little bit if you want to so then i'm going to take that same brush and pick up the light mauve next to it that i just showed you and put that in the crease as well and i'm going to move my mirror up it's probably going to be in the frame but do really close to actually see what i'm doing So then I'm going to keep it pretty simple for today's look, I think. Um, I'm going to use, I think, like a mixture of these two shimmer shades right here. This one right here is more of like a champagne goldy kind of color. And this one up here has a little bit more of like a pink undertone to it. Uh, I'm just going to mix those two together and put them on my lid. So as you can see, these have a pretty decent shimmer on their own. You can just leave it like this if you want just like a lighter daytime look or you don't want it to be as bold, but if you want it to be more shimmery and um, like metallic-y looking, you could definitely wet your brush with like some Fix Plus or something. I'm just going to use it as it is today and then I'm going to take that fluffy brush and run it through the crease again. Just make sure everything blends together nicely and then I'm also gonna take a small little blending brush if I can find one there we go and I'm gonna take that darker color I'm just gonna use a little bit of it like I said I'm gonna keep this look pretty simple um, you could add more if you want it to be more bold or like a night look or something I'm just gonna take a little brush and just add a little bit of that to the outer part of the crease just to add a little bit of like depth and dimension out there. And then I'll go in and blend it out. And then I'm going to take the matte cream shade in the palette just to highlight under my brow. And I don't know if my brows are looking crazy on camera. If they do, I apologize. I'm trying to like grow them out a little bit and like not pluck them and mess with them so much. So there's a few hairs that are like kind of bugging me out of place. And that's usually when I start like plucking them and then they never really grow in. So I'm trying really hard to leave them alone. So if they look bad on camera, that's why. So then I'm going to take a dome brush like this and I'm going to take those first two colors, that light brown and that light mauve, and I'm just going to run them underneath, you guys can see what I'm doing, underneath my lower lashes. And then I'm going to take a definer brush, looks like this, and that darker purpley color, let me move that back for you guys, that darker color, and I'm just going to press it just on the very outer part again like I did on the top, just for a little bit of added dimension. And then just kind of blend it out with that dome brush. And then I'm going to take this little brush and that first highlight shade in the palette of the four larger ones that I showed you, and I'm just going to pop that on my inner corner. And then I'm just going to quickly curl my lashes. And then for mascara, this is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. I just started using this one. Um, I was really using the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise, the new one. Before that, I was using the regular um, Voluminous. Most of like my mascaras that I have are drugstore. I have it on my hand now. Um, most of the mascaras I have are drugstore, just because I feel like it's mascara and most people are gonna well not most but a lot of people put lashes over it anyways so I'm like why am I gonna spend 
$25, $30 on a mascara just to like cover it up and I feel like they're all pretty much the same so pretty much all my mascaras are drugstore. If they aren't, I probably got them like an Ipsy bag or something. So I'm just going to put on a few coats of this. So then for lashes, I'm going to put them on off camera, but I'm using the Ardell Demi Wispies. These have been like the most ever popular drugstore lashes for as long as I can remember. Um, you can buy them in like the single packs or you can get them in the four pack like I have. And they're just a really good like everyday kind of lash. They're just a little something that I'm not too thick or long or heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and pop these on and then I'll be right back. Okay, lashes are on, and while they're still drying, I'm going to go ahead and do lips while I still have you zoomed in. So I'm going to be using a pencil from NYX, and this one is in the shade Peekaboo Neutral. I have a lot of lip pencils from NYX. They're super affordable. They're like 3 or $4, um, and they're pretty good. So I am using Peekaboo Neutral today, which is like a light, I don't know, dusty rose kind of color. So then for my lipstick, this is another one of those slash affordable things. This is the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. And it looks like this. It's the same like dusty rose kind of color. And this one is in the shade, I think it's dreamy. Yeah, dreamy. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Okay, so that is everything. This bun, I'm just, no, I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to leave it. It's going to look ridiculous, and I'm just going to leave it. So this is the finished makeup look. It's probably one of my favorite looks that I do. It's just such a simple, everyday look, but I feel like it's flattering on everyone. I personally really like the light browns and mauve tones on myself. Um, it's just... You know, a little something, something, but it's not too crazy. And as I said, besides the brows, everything is drugstore and affordable, which I know a lot of people are looking for. And like the average person probably isn't going to, you know, drop a bunch of money at Sephora or spend all this time doing this, you know, big old bold look because they're just getting ready in the morning to go to work or something. So hopefully this covers the majority of you that are wanting something like that. So if you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more like it or have any other ideas, please comment them down below. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye!